The secret to a successful throw is the transfer of force from the muscles in the lower body right through to the throwing arm. So this short video is gonna look at the most important element to achieve this, and that's the extension in the hip prior to the shoulder. So first we're just gonna look at this very simple overarm throw. Now for track and field athletes, this could be javelin, uh, could also just be a, a cricket ball or a baseball pitcher, or you, you get the idea, any kind of throw. And what I want you to focus on is how the athlete gets extension in the hip while their shoulder remains relatively in the same position. You can observe two distinct movements here in the throw. First, the generation of force in the lower body. And then only when the hips have been extended is that force transferred up through the body and we see movement in the shoulder. Now this is called separation between hip and shoulder. It's something that athletes of any age and any ability can work on. And it doesn't matter whether you're throwing overarm like our athlete here or a sling throw like in the discus or a put during a shot put or even doing a chest pass. The, the principle remains the same. So the next important component of any good throw is the transfer of the athlete's weight over their front leg at release. So in this demonstration, I want you to pay attention to the athlete's left leg, which will be their front leg. Now, you can see how during the throw, the athlete starts with their weight behind their front leg. But after they fully extend their hips, what they're going to do is they're going to push their weight over that front leg at release. So actually at the point of release, the athlete's center of mass is directly over that front leg. And look, again, this is true for other types of throws. So in this example, we're going to see a discus sling, uh, and you can observe the same pattern here. So after extension of the hips, we observe the athlete pushing their weight over their front leg at release. And here again is a, a put, and the same pattern again. Extension of the hips, and then the transfer of the athlete's weight, they're going to push their weight over their front leg at release.